Hey, what's going on? So today I am working on the air conditioning system. So I figured I'd post an update video. It's been a little while since I've put one up. Uh, what I've been up to. So the engine itself, I am running the Vintage Air front runner setup, which gives you the hydraulic power steering pump. And Vintage Air has a slightly smaller air conditioning compressor so that everything can fit all in that place. Uh, that included this aluminum bracket in here that mounts everything, the pulleys. It did not include the reservoir for the power steering. This is from Mustangs to Fear, along with the, the custom stainless lines to run down the rack. But back to the air conditioning, the Vintage Air kit is on the engine, but Vintage Air system uses the original holes back here on the firewall for the heater hoses, which was not gonna work. So I, I had welded and shaved all that stuff because I wanted the firewall nice and smooth. So I went with the Old Air Products Hurricane System, which put everything in one spot. So I got my heater hoses and my AC lines all coming out of the same spot. And here is their under the dash setup. Now the under dash setup is made where you just drill holes in the firewall or it might even use the original holes to bolt it through. So then you end up with, with studs kind of sticking out. I didn't like the way that looked, so I actually just welded studs onto the inside of the firewall and then slid everything on and used nuts and washers. That way the firewall would have a nice smooth look. You wouldn't see any of the bolts sticking through. So everything here is mounted. I'm still working on some electrical work for it. There is the Coyote computer. Here is some fuses and relays for the, the swap harness. Now, along with the old air setup, it also came with the factory style vents. This isn't mounted, that's why it looks a little off, but there's your center vent. So I did have to trim the dash a little bit, but it comes with a template. And then here are the side vents. The quality seems to be really nice, chrome plated steel. And then there's your, uh, your lever for shutting the valve, the vent off. I ran all of my my ducting last weekend, so one to each side vent, one to each defrost vent, and then the, the center vents as well. So the, you use the original defrost vents, um, just new hoses and, and new routing for it. And the, the control setup is really nice. It's all electronic, so it has a, a factory look to it. But instead of having the metal cables running across, it's just all electronic switches. So this will control everything. Um, I'm not crazy about this with the screw holes. I'm, I'm going to have some kind of custom decal or something made to cover that because the gauge cluster just butts right to this. It doesn't cover it. This is where originally your, uh, your blower motor switch would have been. So wiring wise, I still have a bit to do. This is for the air conditioning stuff. Now, one, one nice thing if you're doing a coyote swap about the old air incorporated is, it's a little tough to see here, but they use an electronic bypass valve for the heater core and it's both heater hoses run through it. So when you have the heater core shut off, the coolant continues to bypass because the coyote engine needs the constant flow through the system you can't just have a single shutoff valve on one line so you don't need to run the H pipe in the system like you do on the uh, on the vintage air setup so that saves a little bit of space um, so one, once I get these couple things wired up uh, I'll pretty much be done with all of my electrical with the exception of just terminating the ends for lights and things for the headlights tail lights so you get one, one harness. This is actually coming from the engine bay from the heater valve. This plugs into here. The other harness goes into the, to the unit itself under the dash. And then I just need to find a nice spot to route these and mount them behind the kick panel or something and tuck them out of the way. And then the rest of what you see sticking out of here is just uh, the parts for my gauge cluster and that wiring. There's radio, cigarette lighter, uh, glove box, light, and I'm going to do some LED like uh, accessory lighting for the, oh, 
for it when the door opens. Same with the uh, dome light setup. And as you see, I still got some rust rust removal to do, a lot of wire wheeling and stuff on the roof. Um, and then I'll probably be doing the kill mat on the roof as well. I'm not sure yet. Uh, wiring in the back is all done. The fuel system works. The engine does run now. Um, AC line routing for the... This is all part of the old air kit. Came with the condenser, the evaporator, the dryer, uh, the trinary switch. And then the hoses, it came with hoses that were crimped on one end. Where you'll, where you'll charge and evacuate the system. Uh, they're already crimped. The other ends are just these brackets. So it came with extra hose. And then I cut the hose to the length that I needed. Now I'll just have to take these back out and take them to a shop and get them crimped. Uh, it did come with these really nice brackets here that were threaded. So instead of cutting a huge hole in your core support, you only have to cut what you need. Um, everything seems to fit really nice. I did test fit my grill and it does fit as well. So I just have a little bit of wiring to do for the trinary switch. I need to tie that into the compressor. There's a wire coming off of the compressor. It goes back to the thermostat switch and then also into the cooling fan so that when you turn the air conditioning on, it turns the electric fan on with it. Uh, that's what I got for today. Uh, hopefully by the end of the weekend, I'll have the wiring completely finished and then on Monday as long as the uh, industrial hose shop up the road from me is open I'll get those lines crimped and then the air conditioning system is ready to be charged and I can start tearing into bodywork. So, thanks for watching.